All right, these are some things I'm going to use. A bucket, soap. Um, this is for windscreen additive, so I'm going to add that in the windscreen washer. Tire tray, um, auto finish um, spirits for interior. Oh, protecting for, spirit, for interior as well. Shammy to wipe down the water. Uh, just to make the fiber close for interior as well. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, attachment for where the um, pressure washer. This is going to create some new form for me. I'm just using the normal armor roll washing rack. Just dilute it a little bit and then it should be okay to create a form. Um, yeah, put some water in the bucket, put some this one as well in there just in case um, because we might use the, the hand um, towel as well or uh, these uh, brussels to reach places very hard with the pressure washer. And um, yeah, let's go. And I'm going to use the uh, real uh, pressure washer for this skinny today. Alright, that snow form thing is now ready. Look, if you guys don't have the snow form attachment for your, um, your pressure washer, don't worry about it. You can just use those, okay? Just because I have it, it just looks fancy. Yeah, yeah it's just like snow form. Um, to clean up the car after the snowstorm. Um, now I'm going to use um, the brush to clean up the tires. Um, tires don't look too bad. The alloy wheels do need to uh, have a bit of a brushing and cleaning. I'm just going to use the firm the remaining liquid that I have um, and let's see how it goes. Alright, let's clean up. I'm just going to use the firm first um, and then I'm going to use the brush. So I'm just using the liquid that, has, that I've got left over. Don't over spray in the interior. <laughs> rear mats are okay but the front ones are pretty dirty so I will definitely put some soap on that and then use a pressure washer to clean it all up if they don't turn out nice I'll probably have to order new ones but if they turn out nice you can just put them in just let them dry um, nicely and now just do a nice wipe as well. alright so the car has now been cleaned I'm gonna use a bit of this um, kittens cut and polish number two now I'll tell you why I'm using this and where. First of all, let's inspect some sections of the car. Now, if you see here, there's a lot of scratches. This mostly occurs because when you put fingers in there to open the thing up, 
causes a lot of scratches in there so the best use of this cut polish is just put it in there and while you do this you will see that the scratches will try will disappear you have to rub it in a circular motion like this and also do the sides if you're there just in here as well And also on this side. There you go. Now you just need to use a microfiber to clean it all up.